How's it going guys? My name is Mike Cortez and I am the founder of Digital Empire Marketing and today I want to answer a question I get pretty often. Should my small business utilize influencers? When it comes to influencers, first of all, people need to understand what an influencer is, how they're powerful, uh, how they can benefit your business and why large corporations and large brands you utilize uh, influencers in order to help their brand get awareness, sales, um, let's just say some kind of conversions, whatever it might be that their goal is. But first we need to talk about what an influencer is. So an influencer is somebody that has a very committed following. It could be a couple of hundreds of people, thousands of people to the 10,000s, hundred thousands, millions of people. But it all depends on how committed the following is to this individual. Are they diehard fans of this person or are they just kind of following them because their friends follow them. There's, there's a big difference. And it, in order to engage that, you have to keep an eye on how many comments you're getting, how many likes, how many shares, how much interaction you see the following giving with this individual. So to answer the question for small business owners, what is it that your business needs? First of all, is it just brand awareness? Do you just need a certain amount of people to find out about your new ramen restaurant or your new gym that's opening up? Uh, are you looking for, let's just say, sales such as e-commerce, such as um, just building your, your brick and mortar retail shop? It, it all comes down to what your goal is first, and that's when you make a better decision with an influencer. Now, most small business owners tend to be local. So who are you reaching out to and how big is their following and where is their following located? So thankfully, because of Instagram's metrics or Facebook's metrics, all of these platforms have some type of analytics tool to show you where your following is coming from. Are they within your city? Are they spread out throughout the nation, throughout the world? Where are they? And that helps you as a small business owner to find out, okay, I want to partner up with this person. So when it comes to uh, utilizing influencers, what are the top industries to focus on influencers? And I want to kind of break that down a little bit for you. If your industry is not within these five, don't worry, they're still uh, uses for for your niche, but I just kind of want to hit these talking points really quick. So the top five categories right here, number one being fashion and beauty, anything that has to do with makeup, with uh, let's just say retail, such as uh, women's clothing, boutiques, etc., travel and lifestyle, celebrity and entertainment, sports, health and fitness. So notice how all of these categories here tend to be uh, very vanity driven. So think about Instagram as an example. That's probably your best platform for, ins for influencers. These are all very visually captivating uh, brands or I'm sorry, industries that utilize uh, influencers to the fullest, mostly because it's very visual. So beauty, you need to see it in order to understand what they're selling. So let's say if you're a local uh, beauty store, I would reach out to local makeup artists local hairstylists, local beauty influencers that have a local following, not a nationwide following, because then your money's kind of going in the wrong directions. You want to focus it all in your region if that's where you are. Now, if you're an e-commerce store, that's a different story. Uh, same goes for travel and lifestyle, celebrity entertainment, sports, health and fitness. But it's okay if your business is not in these categories. We have utilized them in very interesting ways, such as for restaurants, uh, because everyone kind of fits the realm of going to a restaurant. So what I like to do is I like to gather a group of influencers. I call them micro influencers, or that's kind of what the industry calls them. With these are people with tens of thousands of followers. They're not the hundreds of thousands. These people are still trying to work their, their way up to build a stronger following so they can charge more to brands and everyone else. These are people that you can easily do barters with, trade-offs, uh, maybe free services if you are, let's just say, uh, a cryogenic lab or a cryotherapy business or a gym or whatever it might be. Even I've even seen plastic surgeons utilize um, influencers and trade off services for them. There's a lot of ways to do this and it comes at little to no cost on your end because you're giving them a service that costs you very low. So what I do is I like to gather a group of influencers, let's say for a grand opening, an exclusive tasting event. If you're a restaurant, it's not necessarily in these five categories, that's fine. But you just have to be very creative with how you utilize these people and what the trade-off is. You don't want to spend uh, large amounts on them because they're not necessarily going to change your business inside out, but they're going to help you kind of speed up things very fast.
So hope this all helps. Um, I want you all to understand we're going to be doing a lot of these videos. This is meant to be, you know, just kind of a, a weekly update for all of you so that you can start understanding the world of digital marketing. It's there's so many things going on out there. And one thing I love to say is you don't know what you don't know when it comes to marketing. So keep an eye out for uh, the future videos. Subscribe us, like, go ahead and uh, put on the notifications as well, because I want to be very consistent with this and help you get to where you need to be with your business.